So last year I did a video on blood flow restriction. I went on a mountain bike ride after doing a few workouts with the BFR and I felt like I took a super pill. It was just magic. I felt so darn strong. I'm not one that's big on hype, but I want to pass on this knowledge to you all because I believe it is such a game changer, not just for the elite athlete, but for all of us. So I have my Be Strong BFR bands with me right now. That's the brand that I would suggest. Got it in my backpack and I'll be breaking those out pretty soon. But in the meantime, I'd like to bring in a professional, uh, somebody who can explain some of the science behind this to make it a little less intimidating. And then also some friends who've given it a try and share their interpretations or their experience with it. I'm Jim Galanis. I live down the road in Frisco and uh, run my own coaching business. Uh, I was a member of the U.S. ski team for 12 years back in the, between the late 70s and the early mid 80s, um, skiing on the World Cup with uh, a bunch of my friends. I wish we knew half of what uh, we know now back then. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the progress of sport. This is going just, to the outside. The valve that's right, the valve to the, the outside. outside. Um, has been on the cutting edge of a lot of things like altitude. If you can put two fingers under there, that's good. That's just about Three right. Three is, is not tight enough. Now I'm pumping it up to 300 for yep. the yellow band for my leg. Take it off. I feel, I feel them already. Okay. Oh man. What is so cool about this is it's low impact. It's low load. And so I don't get the torque. Uh, and the strain on the joints is yeah. right, isn't that right? That's 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 the key thing. Is so, how, what would be the ideal number of reps? I I really find when we get into the 30, 40 range to start with, that's okay. optimal. It's, yeah. This is a rep driven thing. Yeah. Because it's it's making the fatigue go deeper into yeah. all the muscles. In between sets, I'm not reducing no. the tension. And how long would you rest between sets? Um, about a minute or two. Minute. It takes, it takes okay. a little time to get the next exercise set up, and so we just... So I'm going to go again, and so this time I should do 30. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Just give it to me in a nutshell why they should not be intimidated, why we're okay to give this a shot. Um, it's safe. Everyone has access to the internet. You can Google BFR and uh, BFR safety, blood flow restriction safety, and you can read the research for yourself. Um, but distinguish between occlusion, which is a lot of research out there, and restriction, because they're two different things. Um, and the research talks a lot about the dangers of occlusion, but there's no uh, credible research that suggests blood flow restriction uh, is dangerous. I've had blood clots and I use, uh, I use BFR as a, as a rehabilitation tool for, for my blood clotting. Physiologically, what is happening when you're using the blood flow restriction bands when you're exercising? The restriction is in the venous return, which means metabolites, particularly lactate, is accumulating in the muscle. Lactate signals uh, through its pathways to the brain that our muscles are under stress, just like you were. I said, suggested you were probably at 10, 12 millimoles or more of lactate um, at, at the end of the exercise. That signal signals the hormonal response to repair and to recover. The simplest, simplest breakdown you can possibly have. It creates it's not tricking the body, it's, it's stimulating a normal body response that we would get when we go out and do hard interval training, heavy weight lifting, 
uh, smashing gates, alpine skiing, you're, you're working the muscles near maximally. This is simulating the maximal work without the resistance or the loads behind it. How's that feel when you're starting to build some fatigue? Yeah, 25, yeah, 26. Feeling it. I love this feeling, mm -hmm. that's 30. At this point, Deb, as you're getting into this and learning the sensations around it, if, if you look at the chart there, if, if after three sets of your first exercise with this, you're, you're not getting fatigued. Yeah. And by fatigued, I mean the, the greater the fatigue signal, the bigger the response yeah. is. It's, this is called to failure exercises. Yeah. We shouldn't be able, yeah, maybe we can squeeze out one or two more, but it's not like we should be able to go another five or 10. So and if, if that's the case, then they make a recommendation on the chart to either up the pressure 25 millimeters of mercury, go ahead and start your last I, set, I or, like, or add load. And I'm, by adding load, we can do hand weights, or I, I have an Olympic bar at home yeah. that I use. Older people, older than us that do this, um, they, they don't have as easy a time getting to failure as we do, and that's okay. We still get a response. It's just not quite as big a response as we might get with with a heavier fatigue signal. Oh, oh okay. Good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, you, uh, you can, yeah. I mean, I did three sets of 30 reps each. I feel like I've... I've been to the track and had a full-on workout <laughs> um and I'm not very fit but at all but what it tells me is the potential of this be strong yeah. and what it can can do for us with low impact in not much time the whole systemic response that I am feeling through and through yeah. And it's important to build strength, but I, I want to stress to people too, this shouldn't replace going out and skiing or going out and riding your bike or going out and going for a run. Um, it enhances those activities and that's what, what keeps us healthy and well is being outside and doing, doing our exercise. Um, but it, it certainly maintains a lot of our uh, it maintains and builds a lot of our aerobic function and our strength development. I just did a flipping 440. <laughs> and that, and that, there's, a, there's a systemic effect also. This is so good because one, I didn't have to go to the track and run a 440 because one, I could pull a muscle, but I got the same benefit when you're traveling, when you're at home and you have a busy family life or busy life, you can almost always find 15 or 20 minutes to carve out a workout. And it doesn't have to be complex because of the systemic response. We can do chair squats like you just did. We can do lunges. We, I, I, my favor is I get on the stairs at home and do one leg step downs. Yeah. So I work basically growing into one leg squats. Sometimes when you go to the gym and you lift weights or you go to a track and you run, if you do too much, you pull a muscle. If you do too much, there's a negative outcome. With this, I just need to recover. Yeah. Yeah, you're not, you're not gonna damage. I'm not, I, mean, I it, haven't damaged anything. It's, oh. it's, it's, I mean, sometimes if I do something like calf raises, which is a yeah. smaller muscle group, I might get a, I might get a little soreness the next day. Um, but if I primarily focus on the big muscle groups initially, um, there's usually no, no significant soreness when, when you're getting started. The pressure is only one part of the driver and the other is, is the load. And we're not going to overpressure even if you inflate them to max. You're going to get uncomfortable, but it's not going to occlude the blood flow. Uh, it's just going to restrict it. How do you feel? Feel good. Okay, good. You ready, mentally ready to take on the next set? Always. Okay, because it's a, it's a mental exercise as much as anything. How you doing, Dad?
Okay. Is it time? It's time. Oh, I felt it just then. Oh, yeah. Just getting up. Uh-huh. Okay, remember, drive through that left leg. There you go. When it starts getting painful, really focus on your form. 30. Okay. How do the legs feel? Good. They're a lot stronger than my arms. Explain how your what your legs feel like. A uh, lactic acid burn. Uh huh. It's amazing that you can get to lactic acid so quickly. Isn't I know. It? it is. I know. Got a little anaerobic leg. To get Action. that kind of burn without BFR, uh, you'd have to be pounding a lot of weight or running a lot of laps. Yeah, I mean, I was just trying to think of when I'm cycling, it's like hill climbs. But do you ever get to a burn like that? No, I don't. So that, that's no. what generates the change. Yeah. You can definitely feel it. Almost more than if I used a weight. Interesting. It is interesting. Three. Do not pass. Bumble plus five hundred. Six. And Seven, you, your four, muscles three. will change after, uh, you know, by by eight sessions of doing this. And I need my uh, muscles to change because they're getting slacking. I know it. No, for all of off. us. I'll do three, three sets. Okay, yeah, I need changing three. muscles. I need muscles back. So, do, you, do you got the total fatigue? Oh, yeah, you yeah. you when you get the full, um, it is tired at the end of the con contraction. Yeah. contraction. It's amazing. It and is. then the full extension, you can feel it. And and look at your forearms. Look at yeah. the the veins. Inside the veins. Of the yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, is that we need one. We need two. Yeah, me too. You don't <laughs> because we're going to want to do it at the same time. So if I have my ski condition class on Tuesday, when would I want to do Come home this? and do this after ski conditioning class. Yeah. When you're already fatigued? Yeah, yeah. And just blast it out. Get those muscles like fully taxed to the max. 28, 29... 30. So that first set, you ought to feel it and you ought to be tired, but you still have something left in the tank. But the thing is, is for this minute, you're not going to recover like you normally would. So when you start your second set, your muscles are pretty burnt. So by the time you get to that third set. So what I found with exercise, I'm not a shortcut person. You gotta pay your dues, you gotta put in the time. But if there's any one thing that exists out there, what I found, this BFR is the shortcut. Now, you gotta feel the pain. And the pain is significant, it's real, it's uncomfortable. Um, but in four sessions time, my body has already experienced change. It Ten. already feels different. Is that 30? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go. Here I go, final set. Four, I wanna maintain my form. Five, six. Go hamstrings. Eight, 29. Well, I wouldn't call that total failure. Ugh. You can do it this way Ugh. to make it a little harder. Ugh. I'm done though. All right, so let me show you what I do when I'm done for my recovery okay. okay little lactic acid flush this is good. what were you just gonna say Here. you are spent i am spent i'm like i am ready to fall asleep i mean the fact that that small human upstairs woke up at five <laughs> but. what's your routine gonna be do you think well i'm definitely doing this <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I think I'm doing my, the ski conditioning class on Tuesday, Thursday mornings. And so I think definitely doing it after that. 
Tell me how I would use this just walking. If you're a low level of fitness or previous activity, you just put the bands on, inflate them to the recommended uh, inflation, and go walk for 20 minutes, or do first 20 minutes of your walk with the bands on, and then take them off, put them in a pack, or swing back by your house and drop them off, and resume your walk if, you, if you're used to walking longer than that. Um, the research is, is really clear on this. They've done a lot of studies on elderly folks using BFR, just walking, and they have, they have and, and these are short, all studies are short term, four to six weeks typically, and I think the, the improvement folks got in their max VO2 was on the order of four to seven percent in, in a few short weeks, so six weeks, so they're basically wrapping up a percent percent and a half a week. That's that's an amazing change in oxygen consumption. But like with all all the technology I use in my coaching business, we, we test it on ourselves first. For in, in this case, um, we went for five or six years before we really even felt comfortable introducing to our clients. But we had the same response you did. It was like, wow, after, I, m I remember vividly, one, the first time I used it after moving to altitude here, in, in Frisco, I I got back into BFR and I did my two or three times a week on the legs and two or three times a week on the upper body, and and one afternoon I went out for a run after having done seven or eight sessions of of the leg work and it was like night and day the light switch just as you expressed in your video is wow I feel so much stronger all of a sudden and this was only over the course of, of, of probably two weeks, two or three times a, uh, a session um, for the legs. Um, and, that, and that's how fast our body responds.